l'étranger. Ministre des Affaires étrangères de l'Assemblée, qui effectue une visite de travail. Nos contacts sont réguliers. Euh, nous échangeons euh, souvent sur nos relations bilatérales et sur les questions euh, régionales, notamment au sein de, du continent africain et dans le cadre de l'Union africaine. Euh, nous travaillons dans le cadre de la feuille de route qui a été établie lors de la visite de Sa Majesté le Roi Mohamed VI à Lusaka en 2017 et au cours de laquelle euh, de nombreux accords ont été signés et euh, une vision pour la coopération bilatérale a été établie. Et depuis, nous nous sommes engagés à mettre en œuvre cette, cette feuille de route et euh, avec de nombreuses euh, actions concrètes. Au niveau, au niveau économique, nos échanges ont évolué de près de 25% depuis 2018. Euh, nos consultations politiques euh, sont plus régulières et notre coordination est, euh, se fait sur presque tous les sujets. Euh, nous avons également renforcé la coopération dans le domaine éducatif. Euh, près d'une centaine de bourses sont aujourd'hui accordées à la Zambie, euh, dont 30 euh, dans les provinces du Sud. Nous avons également établi des représentations diplomatiques à l'Osaka depuis euh, 2018-2019 et euh, à Rabat. Euh, l'année dernière. Et euh, sur la question du Sahara Nouvelle, la position de la Zambie est toujours une position constante, une position positive, conforme au droit international et conforme aux intérêts euh, du Royaume. Et euh, c'est pour moi une occasion de, de remercier Joseph et de remercier la Zambie pour ce soutien euh, actif et constant euh, aux positions légitimes euh, du Royaume du Maroc. Aujourd'hui, c'est un jour important parce que Monsieur le ministre euh, arrive avec euh, le nouvel ambassadeur euh, de la Zambie à, à Rabat, mais aussi euh, le consul général euh, de la Zambie à euh, Laïo, euh, dans le consulat, euh, pour gérer le consulat ouvert par ce pays euh, dans les provinces du sud du Maroc. Euh, C'est un jour important parce qu'à travers ces représentations diplomatiques et consulaires, nous allons renforcer l'interaction entre les deux pays, nous allons également booster la coopération sectorielle et euh, les deux ambassades auront, et le consulat auront un rôle important à jouer pour accompagner la dynamique positive actuelle que connaissent les relations bilatérales. Merci. Merci beaucoup, euh, M. le ministre, euh, mes chers collègues, mesdames et messieurs. Euh, vous connaissez que la famille, euh, nous sommes les pays frères. Euh, parce que moi, euh, je vais lire mon discours par anglais parce que je vais essayer de préparer ça en anglais. Euh, Your Excellency, euh, Mr. Massa Borita, Brother, Minister of Foreign Affairs, African Cooperation, and Moroccan Expatriates of the Kingdom of Morocco. I'm once again pleased to acknowledge the strong relations that exist between our two countries and have continued to grow from strength to strength. We have enjoyed increased cooperation not only at the bilateral level, but also in the multilateral forum at which we have rendered mutual cooperation to each other on the principles that are dear to our two countries, and also notably on the placement of candidates in international organizations. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the inauguration of the Zambian Embassy on the 24th October 2020, our Independence Day could not have given a clear indication on the trajectory of our relations. The Embassy will entirely also look 
to development business and other economic cooperation between our two countries. Already the Kingdom of Morocco is graciously hosting over 300 Zambian students on educational scholarship in our various institutions of higher learning across this beautiful kingdom. That not to exclude other support that we have from your country in other key sectors in our country. Your Excellency, I therefore once more want to appreciate the growth of our bilateral relationship from one level to another, citing the important visit of His Majesty to Lusaka, which has brought confidence in both the two governments that we are going to harness or what we have signed for in various memorandums between the two countries. I therefore once more have the pleasure, Honorable Minister, to introduce to this meeting uh, Mr. Eliphas Nyonga, the Charge Affair of the Public of Zambia to Morocco, who is together with Mr. Kelvin Mariasi, <coughs> head of the consulate in Lyon, um, the Moroccan Sahara. These uh, active diplomats, the Charge Affair has been serving at our head office in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for more than 15 years. He is somebody that was, of course, in charge of the department that covers our relationship between the two countries, between Zambia and Morocco. The Morocco. So, Your Excellency, let me also take this opportunity to thank the government of the Kingdom of Morocco for its role in supporting our ambition to have resident representation in the Kingdom of Morocco. I trust that our, I trust that with the Moroccan Embassy in Lusaka, we now have a shared mechanism of feathering of bilateral cooperation between the two countries. I'd like to thank you uh, once again, the German, God bless our two countries. And God bless this uh, beautiful country in particular. I would like to, first of all, um, uh, thank you, Shinab Stalin, with this, with all the hospitalities that you showered on me and my delegation since we came into Rabat. Thank you very much. God Thank bless. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Huh? Question? 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 Oh, That's a question, maybe. Monsieur le ministre Zambien, bonjour. Le gouvernement algérien vient de sortir une information selon laquelle la Zambie va retirer son consulat de Lyon. Quelle réaction faites-vous à cette information Thank you very much for that question. One thing I can tell you is um, Zambia is a sovereign state, and uh, at no point do we give excitement to anyone through social media. We react to office to office, government to government correspondence. And you are aware that when we are opening this mission and the uh, consulate uh, here in, in this country, I was here in particular as Minister of Foreign Affairs, and I came with a very distinguished and astute uh, diplomat, our favorite secretary, Ambassador Longley, who actually personally went and opened the consulate. So I find that to be a screensaver to try and show and excite other stakeholders who would not be pleased with our relationship. Zambia is a country that wants to see 
freedoms to every citizen in the five regions of Africa, including the sixth, which is the diaspora. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.